Hello students in this video i will teach you chapter number 7 from english reader the name of the chapter is a visit to cambridge i will read out the summary to you and explain it further after listening to the video you are going to read the chapter line by line and in case there is any doubt or anything you don't understand you can ask me i'll start with reading the summary and explaining the chapter the story is about a meeting between two differently abled people both were extraordinary in their fields stephen hawking was a great scientist though he suffers from paralysis so basically this story is about a meeting between two disabled people disabled people are those who have physical problems one of them is stephen hawking stephen hawking was a great scientist but he suffered from paralysis now what is paralysis paralysis refers to no movement in your body this person could not move his body parts he can speak only through the computer and confined to a wheelchair this person could only speak with the help of a computer and he was stuck on a wheelchair he is the successor of isaac newton and has his chair at the university so the chair at the university that belonged to isaac newton now belongs to stephen hawking he was a brilliant scientist and also the author of a brief history of time so he had apart from being a scientist he had also written a book the name of the book was a brief history of time it was the biggest best seller of his times next person is fedos kanga who is the speaker also He is a writer and a journalist from Mumbai and he was born with very weak and easily breakable bones. So now we get to know that this person's problem was that he was born with bones that were very weak and it was very easy to break them. So due to this reason even Kanga was stuck to a wheelchair. Kanga met Stephen Hawking during a walking tour. The tour was over. the writer phoned stephen hawking's house hawking's assistant attended the telephone call he told the assistant that he had come from india he added that he was on a wheelchair he mentioned that he wanted to write a book about his travels in britain then he expressed his desire to see stephen hawking so basically after his work was over kanga had called stephen hawking's place and it was his assistant who picked up and kanga told him that he had come all the way from india and he wanted to meet stephen hawking because he wanted to write a book regarding his travels in england in britain the time for the meeting was set it was from 3:30 to 4 the interview began on time the writer felt that the disabled got fed up with people asking them to be brave they got stronger on seeing somebody like them achieving something huge so the meeting had started right on time and over here kanga felt that when other people who were not disabled they used to see the people who were disabled they used to ask them to be strong enough and brave and it used to irritate the disabled people it never gave them that confidence but kanga felt that if he meets somebody who is just like him equally disabled on a wheelchair and he would get to learn something from him Kanga was hoping that after meeting Hawking he would get stronger because he is going to see that this person is achieving so much so even he can do it basically he would be motivated and inspired the computer voice replied that professor stephen hawking hadn't ever been brave he had no choice in it so it was hawking talking through his computer's voice he said that he was never brave but he did not have a choice he had to accept his situation in life and become a brave man kanga further told hawking that most people think that the disabled people are chronically unhappy so now kanga tells hawking that many of the people most of them think that the people who are disabled are very extremely unhappy because of their illness he asked hawking if he found this amusing amusing means funny the voice replied that he found it funny when people patronized him patronized means taking care so the writer had asked this one hawking if he found it funny that people you know they think that disabled men are 
actually very unhappy so hawking told him in a reply as a response that the only thing he found entertaining or funny was that people cared for him the writer's next question was about himself so the next question that kanga asks was related to himself he asked whether he felt annoyed when people like him disturbed him so now he asks hawkins if he got irritated when people like kanga had irritated him for interviews the answer flashed yes hawking smiled after giving this answer so hawking said that yes he used to get irritated he gets irritated when people like kanga disturb him for interviews he had smiled after giving this answer professor hawking appeared to the writer as one of the most beautiful men in the world however the writer was shaken by his first glimpse he seemed only a skeleton then for kanga even though hawkins was one of the most beautiful men in the world yet he was scared when he first saw him because he was actually attached to a machine and he looked just like a skeleton the author asked stephen what according to him was the best thing about being differently abled to which hawking replied that he did not find anything good about it so now the speaker kanga he asks stephen if there is anything he likes about being disabled like what is the best thing he likes but talking replied in a negative way he said that there is nothing he likes about being disabled the author then expressed that he thinks it makes you discover that there is so much kindness in the world stephen agreed but due to his voice synthesizer the author could not decipher the excitement behind his answer as there is a disadvantage that comes with it that it conveys no feelings so now further the speaker kanga says that being disabled there is one thing that i have noticed that there is a lot of kindness in the world and stephen had agreed to it but because his voice was connected to the synthesizer to the machine he could not express his feelings and that was a disadvantage the author confessed to him how stephen had inspired him beyond limits and he was sure that he must have inspired a lot others so now kanga tells stephen that stephen has inspired him a lot and there must be a lot more people that stephen must have inspired He asked if this fact made it any better for Stephen. Stephen said that it did not. On hearing this answer, the author felt foolish for even asking such a question. So Kanga had asked that because you inspire people so much, does it make you feel better? Does it make you feel happy? And Stephen had said that it did not. And on hearing the answer that it was a negative one, um the speaker felt foolish for asking such question. This is because Stephen Hawking feels when your own body is like a very small and suffocating room whose walls are getting closer day by day the fact that people out there are happy that you are alive does not make much of a difference for you so now Stephen says that he it does not make him happy because day by day it is suffocating the machines the life that he is living with those machines being controlled he is not liking it and because it is irritating and suffocating for him the fact that people are inspired by you it does not make you happy either further kanga had asked stephen if he would like to give a piece of advice to other differently abled people which would help make life a little easier for them so kanga at last had requested stephen if he wanted to give an advice to other people who were disabled so that if they could listen to the advice maybe their life would be easier and so the voice had advised the disabled to concentrate on what they are good at to concentrate on their strengths they should not try anything beyond their strength they must not be over enthusiastic over excited Finally more than an hour had passed and it was time to leave the author did not know what to do as he left as he could not kiss him or cry either thus he touched his shoulders and went out into the summer evening in his wheelchair so the meeting was for half an hour but it almost took 1 hour for it to end and finally all the conversations had paused everything was over at last the author kanga he was emotional and he did not know what to do he could not kiss him or give him a hug because of his disabled body 
so all he did was put a hand on his shoulders and moved out on his wheelchair at last the author expresses how glancing at stephen was like looking at his bravest self the one he was moving towards and the one he had believed in for so many years so the author had always believed kanga had always believed that he was actually brave and he always wanted to be like that but now after this interview after this meeting when kanga looked at stephen before leaving he saw that he was actually moving on to the path now where he is going to be equally brave and he is going to be positive and motivated because he was inspired by stephen he was well aware that his journey was over for now in england so he was aware that for now the journey in england was over because he has actually learned something very nice he is inspired now and he is going to work on himself so that's it for the chapter everything has been explained properly please read the chapter line by line in case there is any doubt you can ask me that's it for the video thank you so much for your patience all of you